Week 5 of the 2021 college football season has officially ended and we have seen teams so far in this season that have been really disappointing and some teams that have quite literally shocked a lot of people this season. This is B. Kelly back again with another banger video. In today's video, y'all, I am going to be talking about five teams from this college football season that have shocked everybody so far. Now, before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would highly appreciate it as we are on the road to 10K. Now, let's get into the it. The first team that I am going to be talking about in today's video comes from the Big Ten Conference, and that is none other than Michigan. Now, Michigan heading into the 2021 season was not ranked in the AP preseason poll, and they really didn't have any hype on their name for the first time in a while. In 2020, they had some hype going into the season, and they finished disappointing as they finished 2-4, and four, and they looked like they had a lot of questionable things going on with their team on both sides of the ball. And the thing is, Michigan's been a team that's been getting some hype in the recent years as a team that could really stand out in the Big Ten, but they've really never met those expectations yet. But in 2021 so far, they are exceeding everyone's expectations and shocking a lot of people as currently right now, they are a top 10 team in college football. They're not only just a top 10 team in college football, but they're a team that could actually win the Big Ten this season. Yes, Ohio State has been dominating the Big Ten as of late, but the Big Ten seems wide open as Ohio State has not really seemed like themselves lately. There are more than a few teams that can win the conference, even including Ohio State, but the Big Ten is going to be very, very competitive this year, especially to see who will win it all. And Michigan right now is making a real claim as one of the top Big Ten teams right now. They stand in at 5-0. and They have a top offense and a top defense. The offense is scoring 39.8 points a game, and the defense is only allowing 12.8 points per game as well. Sticking with the Big Ten Conference and the state of Michigan, the next team that I am going to be talking about is Michigan State. Now, Michigan State so far in 2021 is 5-0 and, oh, and number 11 in the nation. Heading into the 2021 season, just like Michigan, they were not ranked in the AP top 25 preseason poll and to be honest nobody really saw them as a top 25 team in college football but they've been proving everybody wrong so far in this season their offense has been clicking and their defense has been pretty dang good as well their offense is averaging 38 points per game and their offense is only giving up 20 points per game as well you gotta think about this this is a team coming off a 2-5 2020 campaign and having two straight 7-6 and six seasons in 2018 and 2019, and not having a 10-win season since 2017. But right now, they're in prime position to potentially be in the Big Ten Championship game, and maybe even win the Big Ten Conference, since it is wide open as of right now. This 5-0 start is quite remarkable for Michigan State. Next up, I have BYU. Now heading into 2021, they are coming off a strong 2020 campaign in which they went 11-1 and with their only loss being to a very good Coastal Carolina team on the road. Now they were not seen as a top 25 team heading in, but they weren't really that far off, but they just missed the top 25 on the AP preseason poll. And I expected them to take a hit in production and all of that and honestly not be as good as they are right now because they returned the lowest amount of production from last season to now in all of college football. But it really doesn't seem that way because they are currently 5-0 and and they beat a top 25 Utah team and a top 25 Arizona State team as well. BYU isn't exactly as good of a team as they are last year, but they're still a good team. I mean, they are 5-0, and they're currently ranked number 10 in the nation heading into week 6. 
Their offense isn't quite as good as it was with Zach Wilson, but that was expected. They had one of the top offenses last season. Of course, it was going to take a dip, but they're still averaging 29 points a game, and their defense is still really good as they're only giving up 19 points a game. They do have some tough games remaining on their schedule, but if they do win out, you could hear their name in the mix for a potential playoff spot. Taking our way to the SEC, we have Arkansas. Now you might be saying, Arkansas just lost to Georgia 37-0 on college game day. Well, that does not change the fact that Arkansas is 4-1 and, and still a top 25 team. You have to take into account, Arkansas has not had a winning season and has not been to a bowl game since 2016. And in that season, they still went 7-6. and six. They did turn some heads in 2020 with the way they played. And their record could have been a lot better if they just finished more in some games. And they had some games they definitely could have won in 2020 to have a better record than 3-7. and seven. But so far in 2021, they are 4-1. and one, And they have some big wins over schools such as Texas A&M and Texas. Those are both two big wins, and they knocked off two top 25 teams in that span as well. The team has improved a lot more in year two under Sam Pittman so far in 2021, and the future is looking very bright in Arkansas, even though they are in a very tough SEC division in the SEC West. You can count on Arkansas staying in a lot of the games that they're playing in despite the opponent and how tough that opponent might be. So far this season, they are currently ranked number 13 as of the recording of this video heading into week 6 of the current 2021 college football season. But something worth noting is that their AP high is number eight, and that was heading into the Georgia game this past weekend. And they have not been a top 10 team in the polls since 2012. The final team that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video comes from the ACC, and that is Wake Forest. Now, Wake Forest, in my opinion, is a team that's not being talked about enough right now. I mean, currently they are 5-0, a top 25 team, have a good offense and even a good defense. And something else that is worth noting, they are the only undefeated team right now in the ACC. And they're even at the top of the ACC Atlantic Division that has Clemson and NC State in it. Heading into the season, Wake Forest was not ranked in the AP preseason poll. And in fact, they just cracked into the top 25 heading into week 5. Yes, this past weekend was the first time they were ranked and they were ranked number 24. And currently right now, as of the recording of this video, they are currently ranked number 19 in the nation. They've been clicking on all cylinders on both sides of the ball, and they haven't been a bad team at all these last few seasons, but they've never really been a top 25 team, as they actually were only a top 25 team in 2019 and have not been one since, and even then the highest they reached was 19, and last season they finished 4-5. and five. They already have more wins this season than last season as they're 5-0 and, oh, and they're impressing me a lot right now as I never really thought Wake Forest would be the only undefeated team in the ACC right now to this point. And they're looking a lot better than a lot of the teams that a lot of people thought were going to be running the ACC this season. If they can keep this up, they could potentially win the ACC for the first time in a very long time. Well guys, if you guys have made it this far in the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out. <laughs>